For centuries, bourbon has shaped the bluegrass state, a symbol of pride evident even in 19th century photographs. But women are missing. Experts say they were involved early on, but didn't dominate the trade. And a lot of that was probably because of the temperance movement. You know, it became a thing that women were, you know, proper women weren't seen working in the the industry. Bourbon historian Mike Veach says the demographics have been changing in the last 50 years. That transformation can be found tucked away in the hills of Millville, Kentucky, at a place once owned by bourbon royalty. It's been a, a, a fraternity for a long time. Sorry guys, I'm moving in. Meet Marianne Barnes. She's been named master distiller at the former Old Taylor Distillery. Some are calling her the first woman in Kentucky to hold that position since Prohibition. I wanted to step forward, you know, as a engineer and as a young professional and as a woman and say, you know, this is what I think bourbon should be. In October, we showed you a bird's eye view of the distillery, buildings mostly vacant since the 1970s, seemingly in disrepair. Since then, crews have been working on the $9 million renovation. Meanwhile, Barnes has been surveying the grounds, using her chemical engineering degree to figure out how to blend methods of bourbon making from decades ago with modern tactics. It's a keyhole shape, and it was said to actually be the key to Colonel Taylor's bourbon. So we are actually going to be using this same source of water for our bourbon. We've actually got 15 of these 11,000 gallon fermenters. And soon she'll be in a lab figuring out how that bourbon will taste, relying on her experience in the industry, five years with Brown Foreman, most recently as master taster. Our core brand will be a traditional bourbon recipe made similarly to what it would have been made in those days. Barnes hopes to be producing here by the end of the year. It's an aggressive timeline, but I'm going to do it. But the bourbon might not be on the shelves for another four to five years. Like the distillers that came before her, experts say Barnes will be judged by what's in the bottle. My dad always says he learned a long time ago not to bet against me. <laughs> Sarah Finney, WDRB News.